Hello everybody, I'm so grateful to have Navin from Navin Group Events Sindran Berhad. Wow, Navin, perhaps you can share with me a, a bit of your background as in uh, where you're from and then where you grew up and then your school, your high school, university a bit. Can, can. I grew up from uh, Kepo, from KL. So where I started my primary from Chinese school. So where my speaking skills, Mandarin, all were beneficial wow. for my business and everything. Where that's how I started. My graduation will be I graduated as an aircraft engineer. So previously I have worked with Asia X previous. Then I resigned. I start up my new business and my new ventures and everything. We start up with a small scale and uh, end up uh, we day by day, months by month, year by year, we are growing lah. So that's how. And for Malaysia now, uh, event lines are very potential business lah for now. So you you were an aircraft engineer. Yeah. And then you quit your job. I quit my job. And then you went into events. Events. How did you even go into events and what inspired you to do it and how did you even start it? I mean, as in uh, like, you know, you started with one one DJ machine or something? Okay. Uh, we are basically a tentage company. We work for government and corporates event. So my first thought in my my always my only thought during my studies and everything, I wanted to be a businessman. So all these aircraft engineering studies, everything, I, I did that for my knowledge. But uh, end of the day, uh, by God's grace, lah, we don't know where we're going, which path and which line. So now I end up here lah, today. Mm. Uh, that's how. So what was the big thing that you did to make you be successful today? Like everyone says, lah, hard work. Uh, hard work, no laziness. Uh, that whatever we dream, it's just not just let it be to be a dream. Have to do something day by day, every day, put something. Uh, that's how lah. Would, would you want to share about uh, a bit of your company as in uh, from what year and then uh, how, how many people from there, you, you alone and then up to today, mm. how big it is? Okay, we, we start up with, of course, I, I did myself. The first first uh, staff for the start, uh, company is me, me myself. So we start up with two person. And now we now about we got thirty to forty percent of uh, staff, and uh, we started with a very small scale. We started with a small canopy tentage and everything, and now we got about forty meter width span uh, structural tentage. Even for the past pole play job, also done by us, supplied by us. About we are one of the main con for the supply for pole play, Blackpink, Jay Chow, Ar Rahman, uh, all these uh, awarded to us lah for the past events. So how many years has it been? Uh, comp the company is very fast, quite fast. I'm just 29, 30. Just 30. I started eight years back. Uh, we, when, when we started, it's about up and down, up and down. But now we are eventually day by day uh, growing, lah, growing up. Mm, that's how it is. What was the most toughest thing that you have went through and how did you overcome it? And so that you know, all of us can learn from it. Okay. The toughest thing always in my business is the new thing, the, the new technology, the new things. So customer's uh, requirement is always change. Last time we got diesel car, now we got electric car. So the, 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 the technologies are changing. So according to that, we also are changing day by day, changing the method, structural equipment, new technology. We are, we are taking, taking all these methods from, from China to Germany. Uh, we're taking their technologies, I'm going there for the expos and everything. I bring, it's not to say copycat, lah, bringing some knowledge to Malaysia's market. That's how it goes. Lah. So what was the tough time, the most tough time that you, you have went through in your business as in like? It's COVID time. COVID time. COVID time. Yeah, how, did, how did you overcome that? Uh, it's a very tough time lah, for the two years. We got a heavy commitment, we got a staff already in our permits and everything. So. The COVID time is a very struggle time uh, for us, for every business people are uh, almost other than medical. Uh. So for the past two years, not even me, we also got our our subcon contractors who doing event equipments like photographies and everything. Bas even we, we, we could not su sustain that time, uh, but now we are happy. Uh. Things are get back to the normal condition. Mm. To be able to sit here today, mm. Would you be able to share with us or your secret? If, is there any mentor that you have? The, the secret mentor is my mother. Oh. Uh, so she's a single mother. 
and uh, she's a housemate last time when I grew up. So the the only powerful thing, the mentor, is she. Uh, I just wanted to give her a good life. Day by day, my only thought to do something in life is just because of her. Nothing else in my life. So that's the only thing lah. Uh, I'm the only child for her lah. Only son in the house. Mm. So that's what make her today, and she is very happy. Are you married? Ah uh, no, I'm still single. <laughs> All right. So ladies, you know, there you go. You have got one uh, available <laughs> successful bachelor here. So apart from your work, I'm sure you know. I'm sure your work is uh, you know keeping you very busy. Yeah. So apart from that, how do you actually balance a good life? As in, you know, your your staying happy and you know. For balancing life in my business is very tough because I'll be spending all my time in my office sites and all these things will keep on running. Holiday like 365 days will be like I will only have two months one month break. Uh, other than that, every day I got site visiting, customers, events, setups, and all these these things. But all this is what makes me today to sit here. Yeah. Uh, so uh, I love to do business, lah. When you say what makes you happy, business makes me happy. So I rather enjoy my uh, life by doing business. Rather, than, uh, people got a lot of choices. They got holiday has a happiness, doing business, finding money, meeting new people, doing business. It's another person, so I'm another character. Uh, I need I, everyone likes holiday, but still I love business more. Uh, since during small until now, my only passion is doing business. Would you be able to share us certain things that you do in order to to be able to be successful? Discipline, discipline, discipline. There's like what I said: hard work, laziness. All this comes discipline first. You have to be very disciplined on your business. Uh, so called like your timing. You, you you cannot say you come two o'clock and you come three o'clock. You cannot be that that way lah. So discipline is very important and your manner, how you talking to people, how you treating people, being humble. All these things are the key point for successful lah. For me lah, as, for me I always take that lah. I always could not forget where we come from before. And today, no matter how much money we got, how we how many people are working with us, but we always have to thought have the thought that where we come from before lah. That's my only thing lah. Uh, that's a key key thing lah for me. Mm. So one more last advice mm. to the viewers out there. Okay. On how to be successful. Okay. There is no age limit for life. I started my part time work when I was fifteen. So there is no age limit. I have to start work at eighteen. I have to study twenty one. If you feel that you wanted to find money, there's no no any obstacle there. You have to straight away start now. This second itself lah. There is no say tomorrow, next year. Or another few months, no lah. Today or tomorrow, that's how it works lah. For me, always like that. I won't stop taking risk. I will take. I will do that tomorrow. And we are diversified now, so we got massage, we got hotels, and everything. Wow. So we are diversified as well lah. Thank you so much, Navin. Okay, thanks for a lot. sharing all your secrets. Okay, thank and you. And spending time with us here today sure. at the thanks. interview. Thanks for your time also. Thank you for. I mean, we, I've I myself got really inspired from this interview. Okay, thank you. Thanks a lot, sir. Thank thanks. you. Thank you.